Road's going to be slippery this weekend, or at least busy. Yeah, really. Chief Forecaster John Milan is here to let us know what kind of weather we might expect. Yeah, the only slippery roads would be tonight. Uh, we have a little freezing drizzle that is uh, coming in through central Wisconsin. It'll be around here later on this evening. Could get a little slick, but everything's very, very light. Rest of the holiday weekend travel looking pretty good as we warm into the 40s. We'll have a lot of clouds around, but temperatures are warming up. And both Saturday and Sunday, the map's going to look similar to this with off and on clouds and sunshine and warmer temperatures. Right now, though, uh, we are stuck in the upper 20s. Not too bad, but cold for this time of the year. 30 Racine, Kenosha, 30 in Port Washington, 29 in Milwaukee. Mid-20s as you get away from the lake. And actually, these temperatures should start to warm up by the morning hours. If you're out for shopping this evening, it's still cold. It feels like 19 in Port Washington, 14 in Waukesha, 18 in uh, Whitewater, 19 in Lake Geneva, and 20 in Milwaukee County. And what we're looking at on our satellite rain our combination on our Stormax computer is a little bit of light freezing rain and light freezing drizzle coming in uh, just to the north of Madison up towards the Dells. Also some snow north of there moving into Green Lake County. This is pushing in. It'll be uh, in Milwaukee County probably in about two hours. Again, this is very, very light. Most of the salt that's already on the road should take care of what's going on. And as you can see, we have a lot of cloudiness out there right now. The warm front is pushing in from the south and west, and that's what's generating uh, the precipitation as that warm front starts to move through the area. Uh, that's when we're going to see, again, just a little light freezing drizzle this evening. The rest of the weekend looking pretty good. Here's the warm front rolling in, and by uh, later on tonight into the morning hours, you'll see some of those clouds start to drift out, a little bit of sunshine off and on in the afternoon hours. But by the morning on Sunday, that cold front will be on its way, and it'll start to take those temperatures down. So we're in the low to mid 40s across southeastern Wisconsin on Saturday, mid 30s to upper 30s to the north. If you're traveling up to the north woods for tomorrow, you'll see 33 in Tomahawk, 33 in Eagle River, maybe a little freezing drizzle also 33 in Anago about 35 if you're going up towards Crivets. Colder temperatures working their way in on Sunday in the North Woods with 19 Ashland 18 Hayward 20 in Park Falls and for the rest of the state again if you're going up towards the Packer game temperatures will be dropping through the day we start out with warmer temperatures but again they'll be dropping also for us for for tonight 28 degrees a little wintry mix before midnight it should be very light and shouldn't be too Shouldn't have too many problems for tomorrow. Partly to mostly cloudy, breezy, warmer south winds and 43 degrees tomorrow night. Mostly cloudy and mild, 34. And right on into Sunday, breezy with 42 degrees in the morning hours, strong northwest winds, and then watch those temperatures drop fast in the afternoon. The Storm Team 4 7 day forecast. Uh, Check it out Sunday one more time. You'll see the falling temps on Sunday. If you're going to the Packer game, uh, you'll have a beautiful drive up. But when you get there at game time, 28 degrees, that's the start of the game. Temperatures will be dropping from there. So make sure you bundle up. And then down to 21 on Monday, 32 on Tuesday. And back up into the upper 30s for the middle of next week with 38 on Wednesday. A little rain or snow combination on Thursday, 37 degrees. I don't feel as bad about talking about cold next week because next week is December. Yeah. So I don't feel as bad. Actually, I feel pretty bad because this month is actually twice as cold, twice as cold as last November. And we're just starting our winter. Yeah, really.